Lesson thirteen, Jesus, the bread of life. Jolie and Molly are twins and enjoy spending time together. Jolie and Molly have things in common, but not everything. For example, Jolie's favorite color is orange, while Molly's is purple. But both like strawberry and vanilla ice cream. Jolie and Molly are in a family picnic. Mmm, I love sandwiches. Me too. Oh no, we don't have enough sandwiches. We need two more. Don't worry, I have more in the car. I will go get them. If Jesus was here, he would have multiplied it like he did with the five loaves and two fish. I'm back. What are you guys talking about? I was just explaining to the kids about how Jesus multiplied the five loaves and two fish. Oh, the story where Jesus multiplies the five loaves and two fish to five thousand men beside the women and children. Wow! Jesus multiplied five loaves and two fish to five thousand men besides women and children. Yeah. Once Jesus was teaching the multitude on a hill on the opposite side of the Sea of Galilee. There was no food to satisfy the hunger of the people who were weak. But the apostles found out a boy there who had five barley loaves and two fish. Jesus asked them to make the people sit down. The apostles did so. Jesus then took the loaves and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also, he gave the fish as much as they wanted. They all ate and were satisfied. Yeah, there were food for that much people, and yet there was twelve extra baskets of food left. Jesus fed that much people, and yet there was twelve extra baskets of food. Wow, that's a lot of food. Yeah, Mom's right. They must have been full and satisfied. Just like our body need food, our souls need food too. Jesus is our spiritual food. Jesus said about the bread of life that. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Jesus came to this world in order to give eternal life to man. Jesus said, "Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life." To attain eternal life, Jesus said thus. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures the eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. We share in the body and blood of Jesus through the Holy Eucharist, right, Grandma? Yes, dear. He who shares in the body and blood of Jesus. Abides in Jesus, and Jesus in Him. Let us become one with Jesus through receiving the Holy Eucharist. Thus, we shall be worthy of eternal life. Let us pray. 
Praise to Him, the heavenly bread, who broke His body and made us eat, who mixed His blood and made us drink, and who made us inheritors of His heavenly kingdom. Today's Bible verse is John chapter 6, verses 51. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. This week's homework questions. Question number one. Explain the incident of the multiplication of loaves. Question number two. What did Jesus say about acquiring eternal life? Question number three. What did Jesus say about the bread of life? Question number four. How do we get the sacred body and blood of Jesus? This week's assignment. When a boy was ready to sacrifice his food for everyone, Jesus multiplied it and all the people ate. Write about one of the sacrificing moments in your life that turns to beneficial to others. Now remember children, God is merciful and He always loves you. See you next week. Don't forget to finish your homework and learn the Bible words.